is that? It's about the right shape for gold bars. Gold bars? What have been some of the hottest questions today to answer? Um, people are still concerned about how much gold and how much silver they should get, and the answer is pretty clear. Uh, let me let me just say something that uh, it really concerns me. Yankee Stacking is sponsored by SDBullion.com. You're quite a, a, a good guy on our TV. Let me tell you, we enjoy it. We enjoy listening to you. You're on her TV. Yeah, um. <laughs> you are on our TV, buddy. And on my computer, because I run it up here on uh, YouTube, but I'm, you know. Just by coincidence, Yankee just walked in a little while ago, so say hello to Yankee. Hi, Yankee. Oh. I really, really enjoy your show. Hi, thank you so much. I appreciate that. He's, you're so been, Tim's a TV star at your house, huh? You, you guys are. I'm telling you, I uh, love it. I, I've, I've gotten kind of addicted to the whole thing now. You know, it started out with being addicted about stacking gold and silver, but now it's about well, hearing every little word you guys say. <laughs> I've been in heavy construction for 50 years. Yeah, yeah, and uh, the last 20 years have been. Uh, in high-end commercial developing in a very wealthy town in Massachusetts. What are you seeing in terms of silver and gold in terms of barter? My entire existence in construction is uh, there's a huge black market out there. Uh, it's, it's the barter system. You know, I'm not sure you call it black market, but it's a barter system. And uh, where money doesn't necessarily have to change hands to get goods and services provided. So yeah. do you feel that uh, yeah. silver... Could potentially like fill that currency. Oh, absolutely. Is that oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yes. How, how many and people looks do you think you. stack silver and gold and in our country? Well, I saw I saw a uh, video uh, on YouTube just cool the other show. night, yeah. and approximately yeah, it's it's a hair less than two percent of all detail, people like, you know, um, uh, have any type of evil, precious metal at all. Two percent of the entire U.S. population have silver. Have silver or gold? Or yeah, just two percent. It's very very small. Um, it's amazing. Actually, you see if you think with you, though, all, that might include jewelry, book. correct? It's probably I, in the, you know, the, uh, the video I watched didn't say that. It was just, it, you know, just had a bunch of charts um, up, and it was going through numbers. But the upshot was that, uh, like, 1.8, 1.7 something percent uh, of the U.S. population, um, you know, yeah, has it, some has form of precious of metal okay. as, as an investment, sure right. as an investment. And I wonder uh, also how many of those people have, have right it in prices. the form of paper well, gold or paper silver. They may have an ETF yeah. yeah. in the that has Prob silver yeah, or gold. Probably more, but um, to, to, me doesn't, to, to me it doesn't make much sense about having a paper certificate saying that you have 40 ounces of gold when if everything crashes it's just more paper to go into the burn pile you're never going to get your 40 ounces of hard metal you'll never actually get it in a year or so you're going to see the people standing here in this line and they're going to be angry people they're going to be uptight and they're going to be frightened and it's going to be a, a whole different vibe it's all over the country yeah and people are really afraid of this government and um you know when you listen to people like Klaus Schwab talk the the nonsense that they're talking about. Um, people are now starting to look at this guy and say, "What are we getting ourselves into for?" Oh, listen, because paint a little mustache on his upper lip, and then and then visualize, yeah. right? Because you're swamped now. It, the curve is not going that way. It's going to progressively as more people clue into this as more people get on board and everything else like that it's like you know it's just going to keep ramping up and ramping up it's going to turn into a panic now i've got days. 21 calls to answer exactly so i'll take what you got now and then i'll make a drive back tomorrow i'm looking um, for 18 total 18 to tubes yeah 18 tubes right well, 18 I, tubes i don't think i have 18 in my no, wow. I'll, I'll take what you got <laughs> and is this your stacking dog that's my yeah. Oh. That's my stacking dog. That's Tilly. Tilly. Hi, Tilly. You want to be on TV? You're gonna be on YouTube. Smile yeah. The yeah. What Smile a nice dog. Yep. She's a great dog. Wow. Yeah, I'll tell you what. <laughs> the first woman I've found in my life that listens to me. <laughs> yeah, really 
interesting one gram uh, bars on the car, but not listening in the cars right now. Let me see if I can see them. Thou can be combi bars a little while The world's ago, changing. That's all I can so really say. I, yeah. I, I know it's not going in the right direction um, for any of us. Do you want me to call you when I, when I find um, out whether, what they, whether they have any combi bars? You know, you just try to prepare. That's all you really do. Are you only... Done. I'll give you a call as soon as I find that out. All right. And I don't know if Yankee's there, but uh, if he is, uh, best keep up the good work. Unfortunately, he's here. Yeah, he's been <laughs> disrupting my business all day. I'm not going to edit that out, Tim. And, and on, uh, now I have to have him take the packages to the post office. Oh, there you go. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Nate. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, Tim. There's 11. For the two tubes. That's all you had? Those two tubes? That's it. Yeah, I got, I got a lot coming in, but I had an awful lot to send out. You're a one-man band, aren't you? Well, I got Yankee standing here, but he's not helping much. No, hey. oh, well, you got to give him a hand there, Yankee. Get the Canadian maples in, uh, Tim. I got uh, two-thirds of my I'm order. Sure. We're still waiting for a one Mazda box. Okay. Are you, did you sell them all? Um... What's in the two boxes I have is pretty much uh, spoken for, right. but since I have more coming in, I can okay. I can you know pull a few out of there. Hey, good nice meeting to you. Meet you. Hey, Tilly. Come on, Tilly. What a good dog. It's light, so I'm thinking it's got to be gold. Yeah, but it's not. It's part of one of my orders. Okay. So I know what that is. And what is this? Um, what is that? Could be gold bars. It's about the right shape for gold bars. Gold bars? Silver I mean, bars. I'm silver bars. Don't buy me. You know, it's, uh, I've been talking so much about gold today that I don't even know what it is anymore. What have been some of the hottest questions today to answer? Um, people are still concerned about how much gold and how much silver they should get. And the answer is pretty clear. If you, you, you have a chunk of money that you... Don't think you'll ever have to spend, but you want it there in case you have an emergency. That's where you put the gold. Uh, silver um, is rapidly becoming more of a barter currency. Yeah. Uh, so you you know you decide how much you may need um, for simple things. I mean, you know, if you're buying from a farm stand or something. Right. Um, I don't think the major markets are going to go to a barter system, but. Um, you may not be able to find anything in the, at the markets. Uh, let me let me just say something that uh, it really concerns me. Okay. Um, there has been rumblings in this government of um, our helping the Ukrainian uh, Republic, if you want to call it that, uh, to get back Crimea. My response to that insane discussion is. Why don't you just nuke Moscow? You want millions of people to die by trying to take Crimea away from Russia. It's been part of Russia since 1782. Uh, and there's, it never was part of Ukraine. They had joint administration of the, the base there, Sevastopol, um, but it was never part of Ukraine. Um, and it's their only warm water port for much of the year. It's uh, their entry into the Mediterranean. They have every right to be there. They fought three Crimean wars to keep it. Um, but trying to take that back, that will, that will cause a nuclear war. Um, that's when the nukes come out. And anybody who talks like that is not only just stupid, uh, they had, don't have the best interests of this country in mind. And what this country needed back in the beginning of this whole process was diplomacy. And there was no diplomacy offered by this country. Are we in a proxy war right now? We are in a proxy war. But, you know, sending the tanks is bad enough. Um, if they decide they're going to go try to take back Crimea, uh, hundreds of thousands of people will die before that's over. And, and nobody should be that foolish in our government talking like that. And that's not just a rant. Uh, 
um, we're rapidly running out of common sense in this government, and I don't get it. I don't understand why. Yeah, it looks like bars. Ooh. And maybe 10 ounce bars. Maybe kilos. I don't know. <laughs> You're getting demand for kilos? Oh, yeah. yeah. Ever since some fool put it in a video. <laughs> guy whoever you call the fool the funny thing is when, he, when you were filming I had a hundred of them and they're all gone and they're all gone you get more though right oh uh, well they they may be a part of this <laughs> oh don't drop this yeah there these things go. are heavy man oh, I'm dying to see these I thought they were the one ounce bars they ordered they just don't feel like one ounce bars I also noticed while you're opening that over here really quick are those the World of Dragons series? They are, and I only have five of the six. I don't oh, have the six one. But they're tubes of them. Well, I, people come in and they I, they want one of each. So it's happened many times. Excellent. That's yeah. why they're you know, maybe three quarters of a tube. Those are the next thing, right? They're uh, they are. They're roughly the same as a 2023 Eagle. Oh, okay. Something to collect for fun, but not necessarily stack hard. Oh, kilos. Got your kilos. All right. That's good. Don't put a smile on your face, Tim. Yeah, because I have a lot of orders for these. <laughs> after you made a video and exposed me.